Hi again folks, welcome to Blue and Gold Talk. I'm gonna throw a Blue and Gold Talk video out there. I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about, guys. I got a few things in my head I guess I'll just talk to you about. I think we have to address our needs still. I don't, I hope Adams is not finished with free agency. The, um, you know, I, I think that's our last, and I, when I came, to, last video, I want to briefly talk about it. When I, when I talked about Richie, Believe me, I looked and I looked and I searched like a GM looking for a power forward and my goodness, he's the best option out there right now, in my opinion, you know. So uh, this, I hope it's something he at least looks at because this is a glaring need, I think. I don't think you can mix it up just with, just with uh, good offensive weapons and, uh, and, and survive in this league. You have to have some grit. You have to have some rough, tough on your team. And uh, we need to have that kind of presence in our lineup. It's part of hockey, okay? The Maple Leafs took this long to figure that out, guys. Think about it. These guys they got this year, I guarantee you, okay? I guarantee you, they'll have way more of an impact than John Tavares ever will. They'll have way more of an impact on the Maple Leafs team this year because they're gonna be harder to play against and that's what you want. You don't just wanna be, you don't wanna outskill your opponent. You wanna be also hard to play against on nights you're having bad games. <laughs> you know, you're not always gonna have a good game every night. You're gonna have games where it seems like nobody's interested. That's just how it feels, like nobody's really interested in playing. And I think we have to go that route. Uh, we have to really consider getting a power forward. You know, I don't know if Adams is even thinking about it. I'm a little worried about it. Goalie. Adams knows we need goaltending, okay? I want to mention goaltending too. Adams, Adams knows, guys. He knows we need goaltending or he would not be uh, shaking up the whole Hellebuck rumors because the Sabres started all those rumors, remember? Sabres right now know that uh, as much as he'll say good things about Comrie and UPL, I think Adams is whistling in the dark and he knows it to keep up his spirits. I think he knows it, guys. I think he knows that he has one, good, one really good goalie. And the other two are whatever, you know? They could be good, but if they were more consistent. Comrie, yeah, I mean, sure, it didn't, it, he came out of the gate good, and uh, then that was it. He got the injury, never, never found his way back. UPL got a lot of playing time, and in my opinion, he did not take it and run away with it. We left him out to dry many a night, but those are the nights that Show it, show it. Doesn't matter if we lose, we could lose five to four, but show you're the reason we were still in this game. And there was some nights he did it, not every night. And that's what you want. You want a goalie that brings you in it every night. And then when the goalie has an off night, you're surprised. UPL made me nervous night after night after night when he was in nets. Cause he did look good in some games, guys. I'll be the first to admit it, he did look good. I just don't think he's going to be a saber when we win the Stanley Cup. I just don't. I don't see it. I don't see him as part of it. Um, I think we're going to have to get another goalie. That makes way more sense. And for those of fans that really like UPL, it, you're, you're really just liking UPL. You're not being realistic about his numbers and his, his consistent gameplay because there is none. There is no consistent gameplay, guys. He has one awesome game where he looks really good and the next game he looks human again. And people will say, yeah, but it's because he's young. How old do you have to be to get your game together? Come on. How many years younger is Devin Levi and shorter is Devin Levi than that goalie? And Devin Levi, even in games where we lost, looked like the only reason we were close and it was him. No. No, we have to... We have to we have to be brutally honest to ourselves if we're going to win a Stanley Cup. If you just want to have a team that's fun to watch and play and you have your favorite players and okay, UPL is one of my favorites. Okay, well, that's fine. I want a team that's going to win a Stanley Cup eventually is my goal. <laughs> you know, I want, I want the boys to get it done. And um, I don't know. I don't think it's him. You know, maybe all my years of watching hockey has made me senile. I just, I go with my gut feel with players and UPL reminds me of the type of player that if we had, if we were game seven in overtime and UPL was in nets, I wouldn't want to watch that overtime because I would feel the first chance I get a, to score, they're probably going to, you know, that, that kind of feeling. 
I want a goalie that's in there that I feel is larger than life every time. And it's going to be hard to find another young guy like, uh, like Devin Levi, you know. If there's any masterful job that Adams has done in his trading and everything and the Jack Eichel and Sam and Rist, it was getting Devin Levi in that deal. Making sure. You've seen it in that um, Sabres Embedded where as soon as he heard Devin Levi was part of the deal, he says, we, he looked at uh, Pagula, he says, we have to do this. We have to do this, you know, like, so I think we need to get another goalie, guys. As much as UPL, we put a lot of time and effort into UPL, maybe he needs to be in the minors a few more years. I don't know. I don't know. Or he needs to come out this year and, and really make somebody like me a believer because as good as he looked some nights last year, I'm still not a believer in this guy. And that's, that's, um, that's almost wrong because, you know, he's trying. But at the same time, guys, I'm so sick of, of the, the losing and, and the, the lack of Stanley Cups. Forget the lack of success. The lack of Stanley Cups. We've got zero. I want to see one. I want to see this team break through. So I would like the, uh, the organization to just... Now that everything's on the rise, and it, you know, I feel like our blue line has not looked this good maybe since, I don't know, maybe since the 70s. That's how good this blue line is. That's how attractive this blue line is right now. So I'm going to just leave that and not talk about it because it's too good to be true almost when I look at it. It's the guys that are on there we got to get off. There's guys on there we got to move, okay? Yoki Haru at this point for me is our seventh blue liner, you know? I probably would keep Labushkin over, over Yoki Haru at this point, guys. Labushkin brings a physical element that Yoki Haru doesn't. So we got to start moving these guys out. We do. we got to get brutal, and we got to start moving these guys out and stop with the, oh, well, you want to play in Buffalo, we're going to keep you thing. No, no. we got to start moving these guys out. we got to move out Olofsson, okay? Enough of this, really, enough of this stuff that it, it's just okay to have somebody up front that, uh, you know, uh, has a good shot on the power play. It's, it's not enough. We've got to be honest to ourselves and I'd rather have a big physical presence up front than that. We can take that goal scoring away on the power play and put somebody else there. Come on, you know, he might not have the same shot, but Olofsson will find his way in the league. I mean, not everybody gets a yellow brick road, right? I'm thinking, guys, the forward has to be it's the easiest option right now, really. For me, you know, the, the, the main option right now is sign Richie. Sign Richie, get him on the team. That would be a cheap contract, boom, we've taken care of. Now we're down to one problem is the goalie trade. Then we got to figure that out. Once we figure that out, we're going to be in good shape. If we can get those two elements resolved before the season, I'm going to feel really good about October, guys. I'm going to be pumped like hell. I think all of us will. And uh, it should be a fun season. Even if we don't, guys, this is going to be a fun season. We have a stable blue line. If we would have had this blue line last year with these two guys on it, we would have made the playoffs. Even that. But we need a lot of things to go right to repeat the offense that we just did this year, next year. I'm not, I'm not going to guarantee you guys we're going to be a top five team in scoring next year. No, I won't do that. No, 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 no. No. Things can go wrong. Injuries can happen. Oh, no, I won't go there. And you're not going to catch the league off guard again like you did last year. They're going to be, teams are going to get more ready for you. They're going to cover Tage better. They're going to cover, uh, they're going to cover Tuck better. They're, good. they're just going to play us better. They're going to play us with more respect, guys. That's what's going to happen next year. Teams are going to play us with a lot more respect. We have to be like, we don't care what you do. We're coming at you again. <laughs> you know, we got to have that kind of team. And um, I think what heads that, what gives that, what gives it that force is having that big power forward. That really helps. I mean, Alex Tuck's a great power forward. Don't get me wrong, guys. He is. But he's not physical enough. Okay? There's some nights he's invisible physically. There is. And I love Alex Tuck, guys. I do. But there's some nights where... He's invisible physically. We need a guy that shows up every game. And when we least expect it in a game, this guy comes and he crashes somebody onto the boards. The fans are going crazy. That's what we need. Guys, you know it as well as me that that big hit sometimes turns the whole momentum of a game right in our favor. 
right in our favor. It does. We need that. We need that element. I've been missing that, watching that for a long time now on this team, and I'm desperate to see it again, you know? As much as I don't like Jack, he was just as physical as Tuck. He was. He was just as physical out there. So, you know, we need to get a guy that that's his expertise on the ice when he's out there. And players know he's out there because he's, out, he's on the ice now to hit somebody. <laughs> like, they're, they're, the, the opposing team knows this, you, you know? And, uh, you know, we can surprise teams. With, uh, we can take a guy like Richie, I'm sure, and turn him into a 15, 20 goal man on this team. I believe that. Because we do, we still have offensive weapons and we do, we seem, we're going to know this year if the offense is for real. That's, that's something I want to mention. We will know this year. I need to see another year of great offensive talent on this team. If that happens again this year and we're one of the top offensive teams and we're letting in less goals and we're playing more physical, 50 wins, guys. I believe it. All right. Yacked enough, guys. I yacked enough here. I, uh, I, I'm very aware we need a physical forward and another goalie. I don't know how you guys feel about that. For me, it's still needs that uh, haven't been fulfilled yet. Two players, guys. We're two players away. See you tomorrow.